Today's video, I'll be showing you why this lady failed our driving test. Everything I do say here, I will be able to leave a video in the description to, el to elaborate a bit more on what happened. So the first thing we see here is she got a grade two for rules and checks. This just means she got three or more of her signs and questions wrong before she started driving. Below that, we see she got a grade one for technical checks. That's usually something got to do with under the bonnet or doing the cockpit drill. Below that, we see another grade one for hand signals. She probably got one or two of our hand signals wrong out of six. Next, we can see we're into position. So she got a grade one and a grade two for position on the bends. This is kind of hard to explain, but position on the bends usually just means that if she was bending to the right, she steered too early and she ended up in the middle of the road as she bent around. Or if she was bending left, she was just a bit too wide and again in the middle of the road. Below that, we see she got three grade twos for position turn and right. This can be a number of different things and the video below will explain this. But it usually means she wasn't over to the center of the line, over to the center line enough. Or she was coming in at an angle to the turn. Or she stared too early, cutting the corner. Or too late, swan neck in the turn. Below that, then we see she got a grade two for position turn and left. This usually just means that she was too wide as she positioned to turn left around the left turn. Or she was turning left at a T junction and she wasn't hugging around the curb the way she's supposed to. If you are finding this video useful and you would like to book lessons to pass your driving test, click the link in the description. Next, we see she got five grade twos for observation moving off. This is very important. Observation moving off just means literally checking your blind spot just before you move off. It's so easy to do, but it's also so easy not to do. She failed her driving test for that alone because you get four marks for the same thing. That's a grade three as well. So five times she didn't look over her shoulder as she moved off. Next, we see observation change in lanes. This either means that she didn't check her blind spot as she changed lane. Or what a lot of people do is they check all the way over the shoulder and they are looking behind them driving down this way. If you are checking your blind spot, change in lane, mirrors, signal, quick glance, and then get a done of it safe. Next, we see observation, turn and left. That usually means, it's hard to explain, if she's turning left into a side road, sometimes they, if she's driving left, she looks over her right shoulder. That's what a lot of people do. Or there was something around the left turn that she should have seen and she kept on driving at it and the tester felt she should have seen it and slowed down earlier next we see she got a grey two for clearance and it was for overtaking safely so that was probably a cyclist she probably went to overtake a cyclist and she was too close squeezing past it remember from your theory test if you're going to overtake a cyclist on a 50 road they need one meter distance if it's a 60 road one point a minimum 1.5 meter distance to overtake safely Next, we see she got a grade three for progress at a traffic light. What this it usually this means she was turning right, the light went green, and she stepped behind the line and waited instead of going up to the middle into the yellow box junction. That's the usually the main reason why people fail for that. Or the light went green and she took too long to actually get the car going, and it was just she got beat and she was just too slow. Usually, it's the yellow box turn and right. That's how the way they usually fail for that. Next, we see she got a grey two for yield right of way turn and right. This usually happens at a T junction. She went to turn right at a T junction and looked right and left, seen a car coming and still pulled out in front of them. It was only a grey two. If it was a bit more dangerous, she would have failed. The test I felt, yeah, it was a bit dangerous. Not that it was dangerous, but you should have waited, let the car go, and then you go. But it was okay, but I just gave you a grade two. It would have been better to wait. If you would like to send me your marking sheet, why not send me a text, and I'll be happy to read it out for you. Next, we see she got a grade two for competency for the reverse around the corner and observation. So competency means she was either way too slow, or she was too wide, or she might have grazed the path. There's a few reasons, but the test I felt oh, it needs improvement. Also, observation meant she wasn't looking around enough when she was supposed to be looking around, or she was looking around and there was a car coming and she still continued to reverse without yielding to the car. And last but not least, she got a grade two for observation doing the turnabout. She wasn't looking right and left 
or she was looking and there's cars coming and she was continuing to do the maneuver without giving way. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you want me to do yours, just send me on your marking sheet. All the best.